What's happening humans? How have you all been? Today, we are at Burger Senior Church Street. Now by we, I do not mean Arpita and I, but I got somebody else bigger and an exceptional foot blogger goes by the name Big Baba Foodi, Mr. Guru Murthy. Hi guys. Mr. Big Baba Foodi is over here. He's actually a savior. My car broke down and he came and he picked me up and we both got here. So thank you so much for that. Oh, no, that's my pleasure. Uh, the man's I got already was a big The man, the man's got a heart as big as himself. So are you excited to do this with me? Absolutely. I've been waiting for the past four days. I was here. Yeah, four days ago. Yeah, and I'm ready to do this again. Yeah, Guru and I, we're going to be trying three burgers from uh, Burger Senior. So we're going to be trying the Lucian one, veg, veg. I know, I know, not like us. But he recommended Absolutely. I try the Lucian because it's not really Lucian, good. I'm going to love this. Okay, and I really would actually try this over any other non-vegetarian burger in this manner. That's yeah. big. The next one that we're going to try is the Firebird, which has got the uh, fried chicken in it and it's got a lot of, uh, you know, Detroit sauce, veggies and all these things. So, you know, really excited about that. One that we're going to try is the Detroit Lamb, yes. Lamb Burger, because we tried the veg, the chicken and the lamb. So, these three are the burgers that we are going to be devouring today. And also, we've heard a lot about this skillet cookie uh, dessert, yes. right? And yes. so, we're going to taste It's a very unique that. creation. Uh -huh. It's not there in Bangalore. Uh, wow. A big massive skillet cookie that comes. Uh -huh. It's kind of uh, kind of a half baked cookie that you get. Okay. Yeah. So it has a nice crust on top. Yeah. And then you have this uh, really good chocolate uh, chips that are there embedded in it. Damn. Damn. Okay. Now that got me interested. <laughs> uh, so now, as usual, we're gonna go see how our burger is gonna get made. Let's go. We're at the kitchen of Burger Senor. We've been asked to wear the uh, hair mask as well as. Oh my, so we're gonna look at how each burger gets made over here. It's a pretty clean, very, very clean kitchen. We're following all safety measures over here. I've been told that they have two stations, veg and non-veg for everything, for deep frying, for roasting, for cutting of veggies. So that's a really good thing. So have to keep that in mind. So people who eat only veg, this place seems fine. <laughs> saw how the burgers were made, how they were constructed. We both had a lot of fun in the kitchen. It actually makes us respect the burgers even more. Yeah, looking at the process that's going inside the kitchen. It's always generally we just pack it, we just get it packed and we enjoy it. Exactly. Sometimes we say it's not good. But exactly. seeing the process inside, now I know like it's really a tough thing to make. Yeah. It's not Thank you so much Burger Singh for allowing us to shoot oh, yeah. inside the kitchen. Thank you Burger Singh. Yeah. We'll dig in. We'll go with the firebird first. 
those tomatoes. Those tomatoes, right? Eh? And you get that hint of sweet. I don't know from where you're getting that. It's from the sauce. No, the if you start from the top, from the top, yeah, the bun is so soft, and then you start biting into it, you get the freshness of the tomatoes. And uh, immediately you just get the bite, the, the crisp coating of the panko crusted uh, fried chicken that's there. That is what immediately just takes you. And it's like something that's really soft, and then you get into a bite of meaty chicken bite. And then again, you go back to completing with the sauce, and then the soft potato bites. And that's a perfect bite that anybody should have. All the five flavors in one bite. Good burger. It's a really good chicken burger. It's got a hint of sweet, which I don't like. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's a really good chicken burger. It's fried well. Mm -hmm. We saw that they follow a particular protocol to frying as well, the time as well. Yes, and the four moments, moments of frying wow. and at a particular temperature. One, two, three, nine. Wow, nine? Right? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm not giving it a 10 only because of the sweetness. I'm, I'm not giving it a 10. Uh, I probably I wanted a double bag. That's the only oh. reason. Oh! <laughs> so, let's get into the next one. Uh, what do we want to do? The mutton. Let's do the lamb. Uh, let's go. Big, juicy, get everything, get the cheese, get the jalapeno, get the lettuce. That was one juicy, juicy bite. Wow, really? Mm. Mm. That's a good burger, isn't it? That's my satisfying uh, meat. Meat to fat ratio is perfect. Exactly. It's soft. You don't get the kind of a cartilage bite that generally a minced meat something has. Exactly. And I, the so lightly spiced with just some salt yeah. and pepper. I think it's, that's all he used. Yeah, that's all he used. And the way he, sma he smashed it, yes, it kind of uh, has got a kind of crisp coating on it. Ah, the actually, yes. And I like the sauce, the Detroit sauce that they've used. Uh huh. It's perfect. It's perfect. perfect. It's spicy. You get nice. the spicy from the halibut. This I call as a more of a serious burger. Yeah. Yeah. Like more, I think, on the OG side of burgers. How would you? Oh. Just nice. replacing the beef with the uh, mutton lamb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. So the Detroit is a must try from Big Baba. I think yes. we know what's in your yeah, what's, yeah. what's his really like to it One, two, three, nine ten. point five. <laughs> Why nine point five? I wanted one more, some more cheese in it, is what I could say. I didn't actually get the taste. You didn't cheese. get the cheese, yeah, because yeah. it's only one slab of it. Yeah. And there is no cheese sauce that he poured into it. Yes. it is put the cheese sauce in others, not in this. So, yeah, okay. If I have to break it up yeah. separately, then I would definitely give 10 on 10 for the patty. Absolutely. The patty is really the star of this. I would. And the, it's the quality of the mutton, so I'll do interrupt. The quality of mutton is so yeah. good. You don't need anything to mask it, some, something like some peri peri or some chest bone or anything like that. It's just pure salt, sea salt, mm -hmm. and good quality mutton. And now for the Lucien. This is his favorite. This is what he recommended that I should try over here. The Lucien, we kind of messed it up because we were doing the photos and everything, so kind of slipped up, but we still have it. As you can you want, see, you want to cut it up, a cross section of it? Yeah, I think that's better. It's a beautiful, oh beautiful my cross section. Look at those oldie colors. I know, yeah. right? So this is the Lucien of Veg Burger. Yes. So because it's not hot, yeah, the actual taste is not coming out. Yeah. This is that so good, I can't stop eating this. The aromatic uh, mm -hmm. flavor of what the mushroom is known for. Mm -hmm. Something that's like. Uh, like a fungus kind of a uh, smell mm -hmm. that's there, mm -hmm. but it's not like it's kind of too making you feel that you don't want to eat. It's something that's like the, the smell of forest is what I can say. Something like a rainforest that's there, and that is what you get from that point. People who love mushrooms will actually uh, they will love yeah. this. Yeah. I love mushroom. I love this burger. Thank you so much for recommending oh, this. I'm so glad and. I'm relieved that you actually like it. I loved it. Because out of a choice of around 15 burgers. <laughs> I know, I know. I told you to pick this one. Yeah, because we, we were given the choice of uh, choosing three. Yes. I would have gone for chicken, chicken and chicken. But uh, since he suggested let's go with the Lucian, we went with the Lucian and I was so glad. This is so good. Look, I finished my bite. Oh, really? Oh, I'm looking for it actually. <laughs> Where is it? I finished it. It was that good. It's so soft. I mean, the mushroom. It was cooked perfectly. We saw how it was cooked. Or oh, caramelized onions, which is amazing. Yes. The sun fried tomatoes, I'm not getting the taste, I don't know how to look for it. But yes, onions, ouch, yeah. this is a good. The good onions, I, I can say it can be even more caramelized. Yeah. My last experience was actually more caramelized. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I can still feel the the crunchy bite of the onions. Right. Yeah. Maybe the one I got, maybe I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the mushrooms were properly cooked. I loved the way the preparation was made. 
huge portable mushrooms that were then scooped out from the inside yeah. and then smashed and making sure that all the water is released out and it kind of uh, uh, gets compressed with the heat heating process that is on the pan. Right. Yeah, and that's what gives it a very nice texture and a bite yeah. to it yeah. along with uh, the sauce that's flavored with yeah, it. Exactly. I like the sauce. What yeah, the use. sauce is really good, right? I think uh, the sauce is something that's a highlight because now, I think both of them, they yes. use the same sauce. You get the same these two, right? These two, yeah, we this. One, two, three, ten. That's so good. Absolutely. Because you liked it even yes, before. Yes. Three burgers we tried was the lamb one, the Detroit, the chicken one, the firebird, and the mushroom one, the Lucian burger. All the three of them are a must try. A must, must try. Uh, recommended. The Lucian was recommended by Big Baba Fudi. Go check out his Instagram page. He makes some amazing stuff. He has a great, great feed. Go give him a follow. And I think you know that he needs to be featuring on the videos a lot more because he knows oh, how to review food. I would love to. I would always love to. Really a big shout out to Sai Sandesh yeah. Markham and his team. They have really a different approach towards making a main movie of food. Yeah. It's not, it's different. Yeah. Do check out Sai Sandesh Markham vlogs on YouTube. It's really there, something that's a new kid on the vlog that's coming in <laughs> who are really cracking it. Absolutely. Yeah. All now, Let's go get the skillet cookie and let's do what well that is good because I heard that's really good. Yes, it's a one of a kind in Bangalore. So let's try it. Let's try it. Let's go. Now it's time to taste the hazelnut skillet cookie. I've heard a lot about this place. I've heard a lot about this this desert in general yes. because it looks so good. I mean, it's kind of messed up because we took a lot of shots and everything. But still, I mean, but the ice cream is still cold. It's, I don't know how it's, it's managing the I know, right? the heat from the bottom. It's really hard. You can see that it's really hard. I mean, you guys saw the shots and everything. It looks so beautiful. I think uh, it's, it's baked in the skillet. Actually, it's baked in the skillet. Yes, yeah, that's true. Okay, let's begin. Yes. Hundred percent agree. <laughs> I know, right? I like the way it's crusted at the bottom. Exactly. Wow. So what happens is the sugar in the dough uh -huh. it gets caramelized at the bottom. Absolutely. So you get that very kind of a, a smoky, a caramelly kind of Absolutely. a taste. Yeah. Absolutely. I think uh, you can you can try the normal one as well, but we went for the hazelnut one. I think it's one of the normal ones. I think it's only the hazelnut, hazelnut top. nuts topping, which is uh, which is changed. That's about it. That's a really good dessert. I mean, if you're not completely full with your burgers, this for sure is going to fill you up. And two people can have this. It's not a single person's desert at all. And the ice cream is so good. It's so well done. But it's one of the things. I've never seen this anywhere in my Yeah, it's a nice desert where you get the mix of a baked cookie and as well as like a half, it's a half baked cookie. Yeah, yeah exactly. So a nice sauce and you have this uh, uh, I think chocolate chips. Some kind of chocolate, chips. chocolate chips. Yeah. Yeah. That I think is added uh, at a later stage during the baking. One, two, three, ten, nine. The only reason I would give this a 9 is because I think the dough could have been a little bit more softer. Yes. Uh, there, there have been some changes actually. Is it? The last time was mm -hmm. actually uh, not as good before? as this. Yes, I had it the first time I was here. I had the pistachio one, the okay, okay. esmeralda one. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I prefer the natural one, the regular cookie as it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's good, is it? Yeah. I do. I just, I just wish the dough was a little bit more softer. Probably we took a little time for it to, for, for us to consume it. But the ice cream, the chocolate sauce, the hazelnuts, everything is just proper, proper. I've never had this anywhere in back. I don't know. Please let us know in the comments uh, below if you had skillet cookie anywhere in Bangalore. We would love to go there and try it. Baba and I. Yes, absolutely. And that's love. the reason why I gave it a 10 on 10 mm -hmm. because it's a unique dessert on its own. I can easily bring it into. Uh, my, if I'm making a big baba puri top yeah. five desserts, yeah, I can bring this on the as a contender for the top. Five. Wow, because it's a unique concept. You don't find this anywhere. Like burgers, top notch. Do try the lamb one, the Detroit. Do try the Firebird, and uh, do try the Lucian. Lucian, Lucian. Even if you don't try anything else, that's really okay. But do try the Lucian mushroom burger. 
So yeah, that's about it. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you will be notified every time we drop a new video. My name is Sai Sandesh Markham and I'm Gurudeep. Reminding you to try burgers in yours, burgers and the skillet cookie dessert today. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.